or just using you. But I or was like, though. If we're being if we're being real, yeah. like keeping it a hundred, I was definitely a stepping stone for a lot of people, whether they want to admit it or not. I was. Hundred percent. You know, and I'm not unaware of those things. And I think that gets overlooked a lot in itself. And I think when I like when I obviously left the show, where you get told all like the different stuff, and then people were telling me the map backlash. I was so can, I was genuinely really confused. That's, I really wanted to get Which into is, that. Yeah. But don't start on no one be none. Exactly. And like, if you want to put me in a position where you're disrespect to me. I will then now. I will. Like, I and then it, it will that's appear fine. that I'm confrontational, but I'm not. But yeah. I'm just letting you know. Literally. Okay, I'm the same. Exactly I'm the same. I yeah, I'm the same. Some exactly the same. They think that you're just on time all the time. No! no! Imagine living your life on smoke. Are you dumb? Shall I call 999? the ambulance. <laughs> like, are you stupid? It's, it's, say okay. my name. Say my name. When no one when is around you, you, say, baby, I love you. If you ain't running games, say my name. Say my name. You acting kind of shady. Ain't calling me baby. Why the sudden change? Ooh! <laughs> A little bit, but I'm I mean, not I can't sing, so let me not try. Yeah, I, I tried to just, you know. Yeah. You can do <laughs> karaoke, you know. Just my, my immediate, like, instinct. Like, I, I just was frozen. You were just You frozen. know, and I think that that is just that sucks and that it's not a nice feeling yeah. and then it was just 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 rudeness like it was just it was just really just unnecessary in my opinion it could have been just didn't need to go that deep and that bad wasn't my thing was it was like there's a way to speak to people right in my opinion and it, that just wasn't it and i'm very mm. much like you're not going to speak to me like that like that was my thing I, I think my thing was just like okay watch your tone and just say what you need to say but like Say what you need to say. The reunion was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm one of the people, yeah? Like, my face just doesn't hide things. Your face is showing everything. Not you doing left, right, left, right with your eyeballs. <laughs> It sounds really bad, but I think that's one of the things that I've genuinely, like, erased from my memory. <laughs> Oh, bro, it's icy, but it's fine. When you came out, him came out, it was the crowd wasn't cheering as much. No, they didn't cheer. Really? I remember how I felt in that moment. It was literally just like, ooh. But it was kind of like, well, let's just get this night over with. That's you know, so there's weird. people. It's the I first did not time know that. I you were following me prior to Yeah. So I knew of you because my ex used to watch you reviewing the last seasons of Love Island. Not like the my, ex. My ex, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ew, why are we shouting him out? But yeah. <laughs> not Tyler. Before they come and tell me that I said ill to him. Not Tyler, okay? I have other exes. <laughs> no, because on TikTok, yeah? They really think I only have like one ex. That <laughs> Guys. Um, what? <laughs> what are you saying, man? What are you saying? Cas, baby. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Guys, I have a legend on my damn crouch. Do you understand? We've been crouch? Watching. I don't know what's a crouch. <laughs> Not me stuttering already. I have a legend on my couch. You guys have all wanted her. And here she is, guys. Kaz, can we, guys? Woo! Wait, no, you need to say it properly. Kaz, can we? Yes, we can, baby. Jeez. Yes, we can. Do you understand? <laughs> can we get a round of applause? Can we get a whoop? Woo! <laughs> Thank you. I'll hype myself up. <laughs> yes, baby. You look gorgeous. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Where's the from, first and foremost? Okay, so the cargoes, they're Manu Devoir. Come on, Manu Devoir. I know. Tops PLT and then... And your shoes? Yeah. Nike. Air Nike. Nike. Cute. With a green tick to match my top. <laughs> You look gorgeous. Thank you. You wanted Kaz on this couch <laughs> for a minute. We were meant okay. to do this ages ago, but nobody asked me to travel for three months. Oh, and I left the damn country. And then we, might, we tried to meet in Dubai. We were going to go to Namos, but then I was flying out the next day. Well, the day I was Yeah, and I just up. messaged you last minute, so it was all my fault. Yeah. And we didn't get to meet. She just slid into my DMs early, honey. Oh! She just slid in <laughs> earlier. Oh! Not the last minute excuse. <laughs> not the last minute excuse. <laughs> not the last minute excuse. <laughs> 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 so we've got a lot to get into you okay there's a lot that i want to talk to you about because okay. i feel like your perspective is extremely different to yeah. any other islanders yeah you're also a, a finalist oh, so can we get another round of applause are you dumb are you mad like I've, like you are a love island Ew. finalist like you went right to the finale yeah. like you've been there you are an og 
<laughs> yeah, that part I think is like crazy. Like you were there from day one. I know. To think I literally met every single person who walked in and walked out. That's nuts. That's mad. That's insane. But that's the best way you would want to do this experience. Yeah. You they don't want to be in there. as well. Yeah, before going in, they were like, what point would you like want to go in, not want to go in? I was like, if you send me in as a bombshell, don't send me in at all because I'm just not the type to like right. go and be, I'm going to take your man. That's just not really me. I was like, I had enough self-awareness to know I just wouldn't do that. So I was like, don't send me another beginning, please. <laughs> yeah, right. Now that, that makes sense because I feel like it's a lot more difficult for you to yeah. be put in that position mentally. Yeah, I really. guess it also depends on like, your personality or just not even personality, just what you would do. Right. Do you know what I mean? I just don't think I'd be a good bombshell. I, I think you would. Do you think? You're walking in slowly like this. I, know, I think I'd In some in. bad outfit. <laughs> like Rachel, just be walking in bad. Come just through. But you need that kind of like, yeah. And if you, some people just don't have it. I would have crumbled. Not yeah. crumbled. No, I would have crumbled. I'm <laughs> straight. I would have crumbled. I would have been like, yeah, I'm all excited. And so I was like, mm -hmm. but I think it's because I'm just more of a girl's girl. Right. Okay. So I think in the back of mind, I'd be like, oh, who do I get along with and whatever. And then, yeah. But then again, you never know. I wasn't in the position. So maybe in that position, I would act differently than I think. Maybe I'd surprise myself, you know? Maybe, yeah. because it is like literally like four walls, basically. Yeah. It's a very small environment. Yeah. You don't know what's going on outside. Exactly. It's literally just you and everyone there. Not me having cows on the couch, guys. <laughs> let's, let's just actually pause for a minute, because what the hell is going on, guys? Do you need a minute? Like, I'll give you a minute. Cows, yes. And I'll she came, she smells beautiful. Thank guys. you. Like, when a girl smells good, like, it's, it's, it's just <laughs> insane. Like, you need to smell good. Thank you. When I came in and not me put on perfume, yeah. like, right before the interview, I was just thinking, <laughs> woo, woo, okay. <laughs> not gas Stop it. I was, Let me run to my bag. No, we need um, to stay consistent, honey. Daily and consistent, guys. <laughs> daily and consistent, baby. With gas, can we? Um, <laughs> so, this slogan, I like, listen, I haven't, I don't know how it happens. Yeah. You understand? Like, you are my favorite islander. Thank you. Guys, from the beginning and has given the redemption that Kaz Can We needed. Kaz Can We? Yes, we can. Yeah. Like, you know, you and Shannon specifically, and then obviously she unfortunately yeah. got dumped in 48 hours. Yeah. So I thought, okay, Kaz is the only girl. And then I warmed to Liberty as yeah. time went on yeah. and your relationship together. Yeah. So how the hell did that come about between you and Liberty? Our like, friendship. Do you know what? I just think when you meet some people, you just click. I think we were those people who just clicked. So we went in together and when we were, before we got out the cars, oh gosh, now I'm, okay, I have to like think back. So it's a while women, back. Yeah, I know. It's, it's insane. It's a while back, man. It's Time so crazy. It's waiting for no. <laughs> I know. So she was in the Jeep, like waiting, and I was still in um, hair and makeup. And mm. I remember the producers being like, she needs to come out, she needs to come out. And like everyone's still getting me ready. And I'm literally standing there like, oh, I'm so consistent. Why am I always the last person ready? I'm like that in real life. And I was like that even on my first day in. <laughs> so I was like, just getting ready. And then as soon as I was done, they like rushed me out. Lib was already um, in the Jeep. So she was already kind of just like chilling. And I remember walking out and thinking, wow. I was like, I was like, you're stunning. And I was like, why are they sending me in here with like stunning, girl? like whoa. But I was like, you look amazing. Um, and then she was the one behind us. They were like, don't talk yet, girls, don't talk. But we were just. She's so, she seems doing so that. sweet. She's so lovely. Like what you see is what you get. Yeah, she's literally exactly that. And like, we just clicked and then we did that drive a few times. We were just laughing. And I think we warmed to each other's energy in you that moment. You were the first two in. Yeah, yeah and then when we were well. walking in, it was really weird because it was like, there's so much like, you shoot quite a lot of like trying to go in. So it's like, they're like do the walk with them. We're like, okay, walk towards the, go the door. With we're like, okay, so we're walking towards the door. Like we're gonna go in and they're like, right, come back again. And we do that scene a few times a few and they're like, this time guys, when you walk, just go in. And we were like, oh, okay. So we're like walking to the store. It's like, we'd both get out the car, walk together. And then we're holding hands and we literally walked in and this time no one told us to turn around and do it again. And so okay. when we were walking, we both kind of looked at each other like, there's no instruction. We're going in. We were like, oh, we, it's not me looking to the side like she's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you living in the moment? I'm like living in the moment, but I remember just being like, no one's telling us what to do anymore. Like we can just go in and we literally just walked in. And I think because it was our first time, like there's two weeks of isolation before mm. you go in. There's months of like speaking to like producers and in and all like the different audition periods yeah, and stuff before. Okay. It's like once you're in, it's like, oh, we're actually here. And I think we just clicked because we did that together. I don't know. I think it's a weird thing about the person you walk in with. You it helps. Just like no, it definitely helps. You're more closer like to them. A really in, yeah, good in a bond. A quick then, bond. Yeah. And then once we started speaking, we realized we had so much in common. She was from Birmingham. I went to uni there. She traveled to Zambia. I'm Zambian. I was literally just like, we were both like, Oh wow! Everything I didn't know was that. I know. Damn, she went she there was when she was younger. Damn. Um. So we were just like everything was kind of just like a wait what wait yeah. what and yeah we just got on and 
it just carried on. At no point did we really think other people were picking up on our friendship. We were just being us. And when I came, you need that in dumb, there, man. So sad. And then, yeah, you need that in there. You do. You need you need someone in there because it gets really intense. Um. So yeah. So given your entire experience, because you were an OG from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Have you looked back at yourself on the show? As in, have, have I watched, watched it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. Why do I say <laughs> this? I don't get it. The, the minute I'm back home, as yeah. TV is on, ITV Hub. No. I'm watching it. Do you know, before going in, I genuinely thought I can't wait. I'm Because I thought I'd be in for two weeks max. My only goal, okay. right, my number one thing I said to myself, my friends, family, I don't want to be the first one out. Yeah. That was it. That, that would was, be me. That was the only because thing. Because if, if I'm dumped first week out, somebody has to die. <laughs> because there's no way. Was my, only, my only thing was I don't want to be the first one out. I don't. I, I just <clears> don't. And I thought I'd be there two weeks back. So I was like, yeah, it's cool. And I'd just come back. And I literally had like a holiday planned with my mates. I didn't cancel on it because I thought I was going to be back in time for it. Yeah. I was planning to go back to D, like go to DLT, huh? I had tickets. <laughs> I, had <DLT>. my, <laughs> I, I loved the broad. Like I had my tickets ready. I was like, yeah, I'm coming back home. That's the best when you and don't then, come in. <laughs> Just That's come the best. out to the end. So, yeah. It's what an experience, sad. man. <laughs> now, there's a lineup of girls. Yeah. You're included. Yeah. You're the only black girl in this particular situation. Yeah. And there's been a history on this show. Yeah. Of black girls like you one day. Yeah. Brown, brown girls like Marlin. I think yeah. On season two, where she was picked last as well. Yeah. Did any of that worry you? Or like, did you have an inclination idea of, you know, what I would do if this in happens situation. in that situation? So it didn't worry me. I was expecting it, which sounds, oh gosh, I hear this, which sounds really, really sad because I shouldn't be going in No, expecting. but yeah, I, I definitely but get that. I would have that thought if I went in there. Yeah. To an extent, like as a, Literally, as a non-white as person. A black, as a black girl. And as black a black woman. girl. And also, like, even when I had conversations with, like, my friends, family before going in, but even, like, with production, they do ask you different questions. They're like, you know, how would you feel about being mm. picked first? How would you feel about being picked last? You get asked all these questions. So it's like, it wasn't a foreign concept to me. So I think getting picked last in itself that in itself didn't necessarily like affect me negatively it's kind of just like oh here we go again it was a bit more of just like a really but then it's like okay well maybe the next person who walks in is going to be attracted to me right you know and then when that was happening that's when i was like oh goodness okay yeah. so okay it definitely, wor it definitely worked great. out like it, like in terms of your journey on the show in terms of longevity and being, yeah because nobody wants to get dumped within the first two weeks yeah you don't yeah, want that. Yeah, it was that. really weird. But even with being for class, I remember being like, okay, yeah, maybe I'm going to be out first. I was like, that was my one. That yeah. was my only thing. No, it's I just don't want to leave first. I'd feel the same. I feel like I'm out if no one picks me up. <laughs> but I was writing these notes. Yeah. I'm not even looking at them. <laughs> Go on. There's one word that I think suits your entire journey on the show, and that is just confidence. Oh, thank you. I feel you. like you've genuinely been not cocky, yeah. not, you know, nervous. Yeah. You were very, like, confident yeah. about so when people were seeing you on TV, when I was seeing you on TV, irrespective of you being picked last or not, yeah. it came across very transparent that you were very comfortable in your skin. Yeah. Very comfortable with who you are as a person. Yeah. And whatever you're going through in this situation can't make me into something else. Yeah. I'm not. So that was very apparent. Thank you. Throughout your journey. Yeah. So like I was like, this girl's going to be fine. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I could just tell from the way you, like, you assert yourself, like... No one's going to disrespect you. Otherwise, it's going to be an issue. Yeah. No, I definitely think I walked into that villa at the most confident point I've been in my life. A hundred percent. I think just over the years, like there's a lot of work I've done on myself. There's a lot of just getting to know who I am, getting to know why I react to certain situations at different ways. And obviously I'm not perfect, you know, but I think I had enough self-awareness and mm. I had enough... That, that, that. No one could really tell me anything about me. Right, People you could tell me things, but then it didn't really seep in. I think it only got affected when I came out, okay. which I've also opened up about, because then I was like, whoo, child. But I think that's because things came to me in such... Um, in an in, influx in and I was like I am not used to this there is no real blueprint to how to deal with it so I was kind of like what well, you know and I'm a self-soother I'm the type of person who soothes themselves like I can get I can speak to other people and get help and all that, all that kind of stuff but until I start to do it for myself it doesn't feel like it's making any impact on me so i think even like now that i'm basically back to me everyone's like wait a few months ago you said and i'm like huns it's like a, it's like a, it's like a wound you know you get wounded you heal it and then it's like a scar so but then you live past it you know what would you describe as the wound your post experience yeah i think like coming out i think there was Damn, a few things in there which were very like hard to deal with and i don't know for lack of a better word i'm just gonna use the word hard um so i think it's there's a lot of opinions when it comes to like 
your image. Obviously, with going onto a show like that, it's very much focused on what you look like, and that's fine. And I obviously I was very aware of that before going in. But I think when you come out and you you constantly like, I think things that hurt me the most was like the stuff like being compared to animals. That is just not it, you know. And you, it's not it's nothing that you expect to see mm. or like to be told of. I think the people around me tried to shield that from me as much as possible. But there's only so much you can do of that, exactly. you know. Because I think that was really hard. Because then it's like, whoa, if so many people do think certain things it must be real like surely i can't just be like you can't tell me nothing but then it's like actually no it's not real that's a lot of projections so i think there was like that element and then i think there's also the element of being obviously judged based on a perspective of being in a relationship so now it's just your characteristics as well and it's from so i think because it's from so many different angles it's like it's like work um relationship appearance character it's like whoa like it's just different stones and you can't catch all of them no. you know so you're gonna hit by get hit by some naturally and i think it was just understanding what those stones were and knowing how to get past that you know okay very yeah. philosophical Did, that was yeah that was <laughs> come on miss Pro professor but no no i definitely feel like you've said this before i think you said it in your on your own youtube channel yeah um as well in terms of and i want to actually get into this later on but i think that we're having this conversation now it's very important but no i think it's like what you said about the wound thing was very interesting because yeah. you did talk about how you are beginning to believe what other people are saying yeah. about you mm. and you believe that over what you believe in yourself or yeah. self-doubt or it chips away at you yeah and that is such a slippery slope yeah i think that's where it gets dangerous that's where you know you can actually come out of the show and be permanently different from yeah. what you were prior to going in and it just makes you go down such a way yeah so i think the way you described it as different stones and not knowing how to deal with it or dealing with it differently yeah is very interesting yeah that's the main thing i think for me, what I'm very like, I always say I'm really resilient. Once I yes, deal with stuff you, and I you, face it, I move past it. When you, I've moved past it, I'm like, okay, you know. You appear resilient. Thank you appear you. confident. You appear like, oh, you know, I've been through life experiences. Yeah, I've been through stuff in my life, personal life, and that our groundworks and foundations. Yeah, for how I'm gonna approach future, you know, situations. Yeah. So in in the villa, of course, you know, I guess as the weeks went on, perhaps your confidence was chipped or whatever was going on. Yeah. But. It just, you definitely look like you, Thank were, you. you were gliding. Yeah, like I know. Do you know what? I think in there, even when things kind of knocked me a little bit, I didn't really, like, I think it, I deeped it sometimes, but I didn't really. Mm. I was kind of just like, oh, I'm upset about this. But then I was like, okay, now I'm fine. I'm over it. It's very but interesting. It's when you come out and you're like, whoo. Yeah, it's very interesting because obviously, you know, I, m viewing the show, we view it only four or five minutes. We don't know what's going on per day. They cut everything anyways. Yeah. But it's interesting how what you've gone through in your personal life or how you were treated or trauma. Yeah. And how you could subconsciously carry that into yeah. a show like this with four oh, walls. Oh, 100%. And how you act yeah. is like, I find that just, it's, it's intriguing. It's insane. No, it's insane. Even I had to look at it. There were certain situations I was in, I was like, goodness gracious, some healing needs to be done here. Right, or like, like, like zero home training. Learn, learn to take accountability yeah. here. Because I feel like in general, like I get pulled up on things in, in life, but then sometimes I don't, you know? So sometimes I'm just like, Okay, well, if I'm not doing anything wrong here, then I'm just living. But then I'm like, I might do something wrong, but then mm. if no one's pulling up. I'm like, maybe I'm fine. So it's kind of just like, I just, I've just learned a lot. I just learned a lot about myself. But even with all of that, I had such a good time. Do you know what I mean? Like I genuinely had so many good memories, met some amazing people. And it's just one of those things I can look back on with just like, oh, like, wow, that was a, it was a, it was a fun summer, you know? Yeah. It's not all like dire. So, it definitely yeah. wasn't. You, uh, obviously I had Toby here last week. <laughs> <laughs> but things are coming on. Wait, can we finish it with, <laughs> can we finish the podcast with, Kaz, can we? Yes, we can, baby. <laughs> yes, we can, baby. <laughs> now, yeah, Toby. Toby is funny. Toby is yeah. so funny because when we were ending the podcast, he was like, wait, can we say one thing? And then yep. he said, Kaz, can we? I was just thinking, wait, <laughs> what? And then you started like the like Kaz. I know where's the camera you were looking at? I was looking at this one or something like this. This one here. Yeah. Kaz, I know you're watching this. Yeah. You're gonna be right here. I was like, <laughs> management. Oh, you shaking I, your hands? Yeah, because I'd I'd messaged them before when we spoke about it, and I was like, oh yeah, and I'll give you an update, and then I forgot to like get the update. I was like, Kaz, what was the update again? Because. <laughs> I said I'm going to update him, but yeah. I did not expect Toby to know that. So uh, Toby has been watching my channel 
way before you went on Love Island yeah. as well. So he was just, as soon as he came out, he told me he went to the my channel and he was yeah. like, watching the stuff. And like in the back, he has me shouting, guys, 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 <laughs> I've only been a madman in my, my damn living room just doing the most. That's you know so what funny. I mean? Like I, I always feel like as a person of color, as somebody who is reviewing the show, there's not many yeah. of us, you know, that's like me reviewing yeah. a show like this. There's also not many diverse brown black individuals yeah. on these public dating shows 100%, so i yeah. thought i have to defend black and brown individuals and yeah. on top of that there's not many actually brown people on the show yeah like the last person was shannon she was there for what two minutes priya yeah. was there for like two minutes at the end and then of course previous seasons they're just the diversity especially for brown people i haven't seen as much yeah I don't so think we had any guys on my one exactly yeah, no, like, there's no, just, just there's no brown i've never even seen any east asian guys you know yeah. um, i just i don't see that whole like a lot of people there so yeah. of course you know I'm, there's a lot of there's a there's, there's not a lot of, but there's a presence of black girls and black guys on the show to an extent yeah so i feel like i have to back ev everyone that's person of color i just have to back you no i, I get full that. support because then it's all it is it comes down it's, it's it's representation isn't it it's what feels close to as close to home as possible when what is close to home is not there yeah which is actually nuts because thinking even just looking from your perspective it's really weird to sit there and think there was actually no brown boys on my season had i watched the season and there'd been no black girls i'd be like that's it's just weird. it is yeah. it is it is weird so when i saw you and um shannon in the lineup i think yeah. okay black and brown girls i'm defending you i'm riding for you yeah. both and of course her journey ending quite quickly so i think yeah. i'm riding for kaz especially as a black girl like i'm just gonna ride for you from day one from the show yeah. just to see what happens because yeah. there's so many hoops that we as people of color and then especially as you know girls especially as a black girl brown girl face yeah and it's just you know crazy to go through a show like that mentally mm. it can be a lot and then on top of that for you to come out on top yeah for you to be a finalist yeah like it's it's big <laughs> it's like you did you had an amazing journey on that show it was like, it was wild like it you just you just overcame anyone that tried to do anything to you yeah you were very like you know I'm gonna let you know that you're not gonna disrespect <laughs> me. Like I was living for it. Yeah, I was living for Thank it. Thank you. Like especially with the situation initially, the first one. Like with Toby, we had last week. He's an yeah. OG. You're an OG. Yeah. So when I speak about Love Island, I can't yeah. glide over it because <laughs> you were there from the day one. So everything that happened, y'all were just there, just like you know, witnessing we're it, just experiencing like, it. Make it all like hey, whoop, whoop. Yeah, exactly. No, think, like as we, I think it was halfway in this is by the time things are settled and then Chloe and Toby were together and then I was, right. it was the three of us on the day bed and we were all sat there and we were like, who would have thought the three of us would be chilling on this day bed <laughs> considering how the initial situation happened. Like, it was just funny. <laughs> it was just funny. <laughs> that is so funny. But when it initially did take place yeah, and he moved quite quickly to, to yeah. um, Chloe and whatever yeah. and then of course with Casa Amor with um, Tyler coming back with um, Clarice and stuff yeah. like that and being in these triangles yeah, how do you deal with that mentally in the villa? Do you know what? I think I've come to the conclusion. Try well, not even come to the conclusion. Triangles are not for me. They're actually not my thing. Like I, I would just be like, sorry, I'm out. <laughs> Bye. You, Chloe, tell me you want. The door is there. I'm, I'm gone. I can't They're do that. I think. I think. I think in the moment when I look back on the first one, so I think Chloe, Toby, I think my annoyance was just being out, being left in the dark. I think that's what bothered me the most. Yeah. And I was like. What's going on? Just everyone just tell me candidly. I think that's why I didn't like. So I was literally just like, okay, but then I'm also very much like the way I approach dating, and this is like even outside of the show, I feel like if I'm dating a guy, that's where my loyalty and respect is. It's not necessarily to any third party girl. So if a girl was to come in, I don't expect her to have loyalty to me. I'd appreciate some girl code, but I'm very aware that, you know, everyone's different. That's fine. But I think I don't really tend to take my anger and frustration towards the girl. As much as it's there, mm. I want to take it straight to the guy. But if there is any, I will be, I'm quite diplomatic when it comes to the other girl. Like what my actual, I need to work out what my actual issue is. Because otherwise you just fall into a loop of it being based off pure like insecurity and jealousy. And then you're just self-harming yourself. I ain't got time for that. Right. So I think in that initial situation, my main thing obviously with Chloe at the time was I, want, I wish she had just said to me before. That was all. That was all. Um, but then at the end of the day, I do understand it is a game and, you know, she took a chance and, you know, kudos to you, still together exactly. and stuff. And I think with him, it was because he was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to dive in. I was thinking, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and then you're doing that and I'm like, that's not diving in, is it? So that's where like my... It did seem like, like people wanted like... was. That was all. Reactions from you. And yeah. you were giving it, baby. You were just being yourself. That's what I loved. It was so weird because I remember like, I think... 
thinking back, I don't know how it came across because um, I haven't watched it, but thinking back, I remember them both asking me like, like, are you sure you're okay? And I just remember just saying to everyone like, why does everyone keep asking me like, if I'm cool or to, to say a bit more. I'm this like, is what I noticed. I didn't know. I think in that moment, I was kind of just like, oh, but I did. You know what you said then? You're like, oh, we just had a conversation. Like, did I not say things how I was thinking them? Like, <laughs> I was like, maybe oh, right. I was thinking yeah. things and saying something else. And I was like, I feel like I've said what I needed to say. Like, it's, there's nothing really mm. like, what, you, what are we supposed to do? Like, get Jerry Springer up in here, start a fighting for a man. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing no fighting. This is what Real I'm saying. Fight for a guy. And for you to behave so, like you did. That's that's all and that And be was. chilled and not be as reactive and not give people what they want. You had to just be confident with who you yeah, are. Yeah, it was just that. And I think also like, we, had, we were cool. Like we were just cool. Do you know what I mean? So I think it'd be different. I think it's different if you like fall in love because then all rational. I think I had a lot of ration, ration at the time as well. I was right. able to rationalize stuff. Yeah, you were able to, was, you were able to so just like pick things apart. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Whatever thingy like annoying certain things were annoying after i was like, annoying and then i was like yeah over it then i was cool right i don't know for you to be but to have that mental capacity to just be like i'm over it or whatever whilst you're sitting in these four walls yeah it's, it's hard to do that now it was really hard because obviously like there'd be moments we'd all just be chilling and then there'd be in the pool and i'd be like do you know what i mean no one even fancies me in this place why am i here <laughs> like right. i was like why am i here <laughs> like someone tell me why i'm here but then i guess i think those situations though as well let me form friendships because i think my focus then was no longer on trying to get to know someone it was just getting to know everyone mm -hmm. else so i built some really really solid friends in there and i think that kept me going and i think because i hadn't formed any romantic connections i had time to actually get to know different people and then i was just like yeah so it's just like felt uncomfortable here well the good vibes are over there yeah Good vibes are over there. Exactly. Good vibes are everywhere in this villa if I choose for them to be there. And you so had Liberty as well. like that. Your rock. Yeah, literally. I like, had but, and you were her rock. <laughs> like, not even yeah. like, you were her rock. Bro. I try. It, like, it's always hard, isn't it? Because that whole situation, again, was something that we've never seen on the show. Yeah. Jake? Yeah. Wow. I was about to say Jack. <laughs> no, wow. Jake. Wow. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just to know this. Jake and uh, Liberty, of course, that whole situation. Do you think that he was really into her? Now, I, I assume in the beginning he probably was. Yeah. But as time went on, we were seeing so much yeah. of how this guy was having so much doubts. And we're just like, Liberty is really just in a tunnel. Yeah. The start. So as her close friend, when yeah. it came to the point where she, you know, was going to leave the show or was yeah. crying or when she was happy, when Jake randomly said that, you know, he loved her. Yeah. And did you feel like he was being authentic at times? I, I honestly... Or could have done better? Honestly, I never questioned his authenticity until the after the movie night. And that's literally, yeah. that's post Castle more. That's like, it's been weeks, honey. I think for a few, I don't know, my timing's a bit, there was a while when like, I think a lot of people would ask me like, do you think, do you, and I just remember thinking, I had his back a lot. I was like, well, I'm sorry, why is everyone like mm. coming for dicks? We, our point of view is very different to mm. the outside. That's the thing. Like very, very different. Um, and I think even like social cues, I didn't really pick up onto things until like after Castle and Wolf. So like even just what people's perception of you might be, I didn't know those things until after Castle and Wolf. But I think I also only adjusted to like really, really realizing like actually this is a, like a TV show. If you're doing you, but then there's narratives being played, you know? And I think that was just na naivety on my own part. So yeesh. Um, but I think when I'd have conversations with her, like there was moments where she questioned things. Right. Um, and I'd be like, okay, and we talk about it, but then we were on this thing of maybe you're self-sabotaging. That was literally a lot of my advice was like, okay, we're not gonna self-sabotage because, you know- Come on, self-sabotage queen. Yeah, I think it's because <laughs> okay, we I'd spoke about like relationships that we've been in mm. on the outside and how those were and how we were and all those kinds, just like real conversations. I don't know how many of those were shown or not, but we had just like real conversations about like our experiences with our different exes and stuff. So it was always like, right, no, you've got this girl, like, you know, like tell him how you feel <laughs> we're not going to self-sabotage mm. and all these things but i think as like the movie night unfolded i think watching things made their things very different like seeing the castle more like clips it it reminds you like hold on there's actually a diff it's really weird like watching yourself, yourself back yeah 
that movie night was enough. I saw myself doing stuff in the gym and I was like, I can't, <laughs> like, imagine me watching the show. So it in was basically, gym. yeah, like the little clips that they showed us on that night. <laughs> See, that's what I remember. <laughs> Nobody being dragged and you're in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> That's really so silly. But That's um it. so I think in those moments it was like really sucky because then obviously then she was sad and hurt. But I think what for me was just the biggest just like red flag I think was when she'd gone up and had a conversation and she came down like, Oh he, yeah, he said he just said I love you and I was like the timing for me just felt weird. Mm. And I was like, it, it's such a shame because in that moment, like when one of when your best friend is telling you, like, you know, my boyfriend just said I love you, you wanna celebrate. You wanna celebrate and to not be able to do that sucked. Mm. Cause it's like every ounce of me, I, I don't even think I said anything for a while. I think I was just sat there like trying to process it, but I would have loved to just be like, yes, like finally, but just my my immediate like instinct, like I, I just was frozen, you, were just you know? And I think that that is just, that sucks. And that it's not a nice feeling. Um, and I can't even imagine how she felt in that moment because I feel like all, I'm pretty sure quite a few of us were around her at that moment. Yeah. And it's like to have just no real like happiness about that. It, it was horrible in that moment. Um, but then I think that's, I guess that's what tough love is, isn't it? At all that moment in itself. But then I'm not even a tough love person. Mm. So I was like, we have to speak properly. Like, cause I'm just, my approach is just not really like that. Back to Casa Amor. Now that situation. Oh, Casa Amor. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> was a lot. It was probably the most dramatic Kazama we've seen, actually. A chance, so I can compare the both. She said, kiss me to compare it with Millie's kiss. And then you kissed her. No, it wasn't like that. Yeah. In a very long time, but I helped, I feel like you helped finalize, because the ad-libs that you were just throwing in. When? When it, when it came to, when uh, when Liam came back with Lily. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, um, Millie was sitting there. And then Liam sat next to me and then you were speaking to Liam a little bit, talking about, yeah. oh, you know, you wanted to test your kiss with us to see if you kissed her. I don't, and even, I just I don't even remember why. <laughs> I was Honestly, thinking. I haven't watched that back. I live a year, but the ad libs were hilarious. But, uh, but I think that's just, I think, in, I think in moments, I think sometimes when my friends get hurt, I just get really, like, protective and very, like, mm. like, what? And I think it's because for the the, the, the two, how long was Casimir? Two weeks? I think so. However long Casimir was, I remember, like, in that moment, like she really missed him, you know? And I think the fact that he'd walked out, was on his own and was just happy. And then it was like, bam, <laughs> Lily spoke. And it was like, whoa, what? And I said, yeah, yeah, that was, that was hard, but. Like, and that was like, and what were your thoughts when, of course, you know, when somebody else came back with Tyler, were you just like, well, this is just like, what? And then obviously, well, you had Matthew as well, to, to be honest, yeah. you had someone as well. Yeah. But I just don't know what I would do in that situation. I just feel like it's so, mentally intense yeah do you know we had the postcard oh yeah you did have the postcard so you were prepped for it yeah okay i think if it, if the postcard never came <laughs> god don't know what i'd have done but <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you're you're the thing no but my thing is right my my problem is i move off real emotion oh, I'm, I'm a very emotional person right i can be logical but i think sometimes my but when you like someone emotions are there and yeah. i think one thing in that villa, I was very, I was just me, which meant my emotions were just my emotions. I think had I maybe gone in a bit more strategically, mm. I probably would have operated with so much more logic. I pro logic was gone. My head was not there anymore by the time we got to Castle Moor. So I think looking back on, I think, well, actually not looking back, in the moment, that seeing that, po I think that postcard was literally just like, it really hurt in that moment because I think by that point I was fed I think I was just fed up because I felt like yeah, even from the beginning I would have been fed up as well oh, <laughs> I would have been, I would have been done I think that was the point where I literally was like okay I'm a bit I'm being affected a little bit here because after the whole Toby stuff cool moved past that I think from that moment any any and everyone who's like yeah I want to get to know you take you on these dates and I I only realized like oh so I'm basically just everyone's stepping stone like but I think when that was happening, I wasn't registering it. It's only when I said the postcard, I was like, I was just another stepping stone. Basically. And that's when I was like, okay, now I'm starting to feel like, okay, I'm now looking, now this is now triggers from like past relationships, just being cheated on, like those feelings coming back. And PTSD, I think emotional that's, PTSD that's is very real. Was. Yeah. I think that's why I did cry, because it was everything. 
like kind of just at once. Mm. Um, and then once I had my cry and, you know, had a lovely therapy session and just got that all off my chest. I was like, you're back in the villa. So, okay, well, well, it's time to get to know new people then. Seeing as that's it. So the P, I think at the time I'd spoken, spoke to Matt, spoke to Medi, spoke to Jack, spoke to, I can't remember who else was in there. It's really bad. Um, Who's Jack? He was one of the guys in Castle. Listen, these Castle more guys, I, do, I, remember, I the way I forget was, their names. He, yeah, he was cool people, but I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, Midi, I think I remember. Yeah. So I spoke to all of them and the only, and my conversations that went like good from before was my conversation at that time, obviously with Medi and Matt. And I think Medi had, sh um, she, what, what, she, she shot his shot before the postcard. So he kind of made that move straight mm -hmm. before the postcard came. So obviously in that moment, I was like, oh, like you're lovely, but I think my, Connection stronger somewhere else, but that was pre post. Pre -post. So when the boys came, I was thinking, well, that's my beeline to just go because I can't sit there and be like, if someone he clearly doesn't like me enough mm. for him to like be in bed. I think it was the being in bed. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. Me, that's man. why I was like, oh, if it was like anything else, I think I would have been fine. But in that moment, I was kind of just like, oh, okay, cool. Like you, you know, you've met somebody, and that's fine. Like you know, cool, ever. So then I think that night is when I had a conversation with Matt and then we had kissed. Then someone said Mehdi was gonna pull me for a chat after as well mm. because the post got happened, but because me and Matt had kissed, he didn't mm. or something like that. From what I remember, it was something along those lines, but at that point it's like, well, okay, well, we kissed. So I guess let's just <laughs> Not get well. to know. <laughs> no, like get to know, because I think in the back of my mind, I think with Casa Moore, I always had it in the back of my mind that at the end of the day, like, yeah, I could meet pe really genuine people, but also people need to get into the villa and I was very aware that I was gen like an easy target as soon as that postcard happened. Like I was aware of those things. Um, but even with that, it was kind of just like, okay, just get to know, which is why I was like, right, I'm gonna just try and like give a hundred percent. I'm pretty sure I said, I was oh yeah, I'll give a hundred percent. And then me operating off emotion did what I do on the outside when dating, which is no one's really your real man or really not. But then you've said this and you've said, and you've this, said just, that. Then it's all a mess. And then, then it's an, yeah. Everyone's that's interesting that you thought you were a stepping stone. You're like people are just using you. But I or was like, though. If we're being if we're being real, yeah. keeping it a hundred, I was definitely a stepping stone for a lot of people, whether they want to admit it or not. I was. Hundred percent. You know, and I'm not unaware of those things. And I think that gets overlooked a lot in itself. And it's fine because the thing is, I always said that I'm like, I'm not going to fall into this. Oh, I'm woe is me. I'm going to be a victim. Absolutely not, because I believe in my own source enough if you can't appreciate it, it's fine we we mm. move on but i think with how all the situations were happening it was there was a lot more it's, it's a show at the end of the day as well so no one's really gonna dive into that angle are they when no. there's other drama that you can get which was got so <laughs> that's just that but yeah i think a lot of guys did gigi yeah on the show and i, I feel like it. they want to use you for either a certain look or use you because they want to go to somebody else yeah and the key word here is overlooked because what isn't discussed is how are you feeling yeah from being in its predicament from this guy doing yeah. this to you you know really what's because it's a show what's focused yeah. on is where that guy's going next yeah and what that journey is going to be yeah and rather trying to get a reaction out of you as opposed to you know really sitting and thinking how is this making you feel yeah and it's not okay yeah and i think that you know yeah it wasn't really made as apparent to a lot of people um yeah. yes they saw it but like nobody really stepped and stopped and thought you know what how does kaz feel in terms no, of the larger really. scale if we're, if we're being real not no. really i think but yeah it's, it's a hard one because i think even like yeah 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 <laughs> it's just, i feel like you want to say something yeah no because it, you know it's one of those things where i think when i like when i obviously left the show where you get told all like the different stuff and then people were telling me the map backlash i was so can, i was genuinely really confused, that's i really wanted to get which into is that. so weird because it, makes, it was such a big thing on the outside but like honestly i was very just and uh, throughout the whole situation i asked so many different people in the villa for like different advice and i think i think what happened was with everything going on it's like we did get along, but then I, I felt like there was a bit of a pullback and then I was kind of just like, oh, okay, cool. Well, you know, I kind of only did this because of the postcard. And I remember feeling really bad for admitting to it when we had the fire pit stuff. Um, but you know, you learn from your mistakes. And then it was, um, who was it? Like, oh yeah, I spoke to all the girls, asked for opinions, spoke mm -hmm. to the guys and everyone was like, no, you're handling yourself well. And I was thinking, okay, cool, I'm not moving mad. I was thinking like, I okay. Thought, I like, thought for a second you were moving mad. Did you? I, this is the thing because 
the way it came across yeah and it was initially was that he was waiting on you to make a decision and you weren't and i was like i feel sorry for matthew you have to be objective like Kaz yeah is my favorite but if i feel like somebody's in the wrong they're in the wrong yeah and that's how it was perceived to all of us um that you know you weren't giving him enough time or you were, you were kind of like, you know, dragging him on as you were deciding who to go back, who to choose. Yeah. And then they showed in an unseen bits yeah. on a weekend that it was actually him in, yeah. in positions that also wasn't interested yeah. or wasn't trying to do this most. But it appeared to us that you were in the main predicament. And, Got you. and that's where a lot of this backlash came from, where, you know, where it put you in a bad light for the yeah. first time. Um, and well, actually, Matthew wasn't doing a lot uh, yeah. from what, uh, to pursue you but made it out to be like he was. Yeah. And that was what tricked a lot of people. And then I was like, I did a whole video on it. I remember I was like, well, this just came out completely wrong. We were yeah. all duped. It's a weird one, you know? The thing is, he's so lovely. and I No, I can imagine. Like, I, I'm saying, I imagine he's a, he's a, I don't think he's an evil person. No, I don't think he's either. I don't think he's But I just either. think the way it all played out was very weird. Yeah, I think the whole situation, to be fair, even just our whole situation was weird anyway. To be fair, it was a weird one. I think for me in that moment, I think I've learned now as well. I don't do, see, this is multi dating, <laughs> yeah. You see, dating more than one person, yeah. See, I'm the person who's in bondage with being like with that one person. Ah, so you that rotation. Now, let me learn. This is the <laughs> thing. Oh, do you know, I've done both actually. Well, I'm on Please. Do okay, so I've done the whole long term relationship thing, didn't work out, did the whole long talking phase and then get together, a little bit toxic here and there. Yep, got over that. Mm. And then I was like, I think after my last relationship, then I did a rotation. But my rotation was purely <laughs> for fun and fun alone. Also looking, I think at, in the moment, there were certain things I wasn't really processing. I think it's not, you can, you can get over people, but if they're in front of you and making more effort than the new person you're trying to get to know, it's very hard to just move past that. Because then in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe you did like me. Because I think at the time when I would, when I did have just candid conversations with Tyler at that time, and I was like, okay, so you've recoupled, but like, what, like, what's your reason? You know, I'm expecting to hear, you know, a better connection. So moving on. And then I wasn't really hearing that, so I was kind of just like, okay. what do I do? So. There's no real. I do think that you got it. There. So I think that's why I was kind of just a bit like, okay, well, there's more effort here. More effort. But then, you know, it's, I think it's just that toss up of which I'm, I'm just not good with options, okay? I'm not good with <laughs> options and I've learned it and I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing but it I again. do think with that Matthew uh, situation, yeah. you were given a, a perspective of, I'm not, I'm going to drag on Matthew, but like Matthew was also in a position no. where he wasn't as interested from what we saw in further clips and that wasn't shown. And I do think that you were got an unfair edit with that Matthew stuff. Yeah. In hindsight, looking back, that should never have taken place. Yeah. With that edit that unfortunately we saw of you with that specific situation. Yeah. But then also it's weird because, you know, you're postcard some more, you saw a postcard of somebody doing something with someone else, you grab someone else, that person comes back with that girl, but then they're not really on that girl as much and they want to come back to you. So it's kind of and it's just like, what's going on? Your, your yeah. head's like going back and forth. You don't know who you want a genuine connection for. You've been there for so long. You're fed up. Not yeah. like fed up, but like you're just tired. Oh no, there's fed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fed up's the right word. <laughs> fed up. There was an article saying that you wanted to leave the show. I did. I did. But that it's because like... That way that just came into my mind now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I think, you know, it's dating in itself, yeah, is very... It, it, what, it's on you, it's your emotions. I think because it's a dating show, the main focus is like your feelings and your emotions. And I think because in my head, I was like, I really actually want to meet someone. But I've learned now, if you really want to meet someone, you're not meeting them. You're not, you need to be doing you and then they'll come along, you mm. know? But I think that was my thing. I was like, I really want to meet someone. We've been in lockdown for so long, I'm bored. I want a man now, I want to travel with someone. So that I was like, that was very like, that's just, just what I want. I think I was operating off pure emotion. I think I was also like, kind of healing from a past relationship. Right. I think a lot of us do that in there in different ways. Yeah. Um, you know, advice for anyone going in heal. <laughs> heal before you step into those doors <laughs> because it will catch up with you. Not heal. No, heal. <laughs> heal. <laughs> so I think there's a lot of that. <laughs> and um, it's just frustration. Okay. And then you start to question yourself. And you, I, just did, I think there were certain moments where I was kind of like, I just didn't really feel like I was in a space because I was supposed to be there. I kind of felt like I was just filling in diversity quotas and diver just a little tick box. And it just made me feel a little bit small. And I was just like, oh, I just want to go home, you know, like... I've got holiday coming up. I can be, you know, Do on it. holiday with my mates. Yeah, and with it's not people like that I, you want to be around. Yeah, and I think, I think with going in, I never went in there to necessarily like change my life. I really liked my life before I went in. So I was kind of like, it's been a great experience, you know. 
I've been here for ages, so I can go back to where I feel a little bit more. Like, I just, I think I miss my comforts. Mm. You know, cause I didn't, I didn't have my mom, I didn't have my family, and I'm such a like, family oriented person. Like, they really mold and shape me. So sometimes I'm a little bit of a bit babied at home, you know? And mm. I'm kind of one of that, I wanted to be cuddled. I was like, I want to be, you know, I feel feel like safe a little it bit It can just more. be quite hollow at times. Yeah, and I think so in those moments, it just wouldn't, but I guess it's one of those things that keeps saying, when it's bad, it's bad. When it's good, it's good. That's the issue, so, like, as like a non-white what, person yeah. and you're going to show, you're like, am I a diversity quota? Yeah. Am I being used for a certain narrative? Yeah. Am I just being put here for that, you know, so we look good for a certain and reason And then it's like, once you do that, just you know, send me off. Discards. You know? And then it's like, yeah, you've got therapy and stuff, but still, yeah. like, the therapists that you have in Love Island, are they white? Um. Oh, ooh, so we have, yes, and there's also Dr. Sandra. She was a black woman. I, I spoke to her the most. Amazing. But then because also you can request. You can request. And there's also, um, Mandy was lovely. She's a brown girl. Amazing. Um, so I spoke to her quite a bit. Yeah, I think you can. I think everyone connects. With, well, there's that's what there's welfare team and then there's therapists. I think everyone does end up connecting with either people within the welfare team or the therapists. Like, I think sometimes, like, I'm not the only person who would like requested specific people. I think you can get. I that would hundred ten percent. Or you can just be like, yeah, I'm happy to speak to anyone. You know, it just depends mm. on how you feel in that moment. But they are there twenty four seven, and that's one thing I will say. They were really good with that. I it's think they've upped whether, it a lot. Yeah, no, they have. Because even when we came out, like, there was just there. sessions. Yeah. Damn. So there's always someone to speak to. You know, sometimes you're sitting there unprovoked and you need it, <laughs> you know. Um, so I think from that front, it's really good. Yeah, like a relief. I can't really fault you it. You want to get out yeah. of this tense situation and speak to somebody. Yeah. So it helps you in that moment of time. Yeah. But now, sometimes you just want your mom. I just want my mom. <laughs> she came in. With I know. Here's oh the thing. I do. Wanna, your family, your sister. <laughs> she's so cute, your sister. Like, she's always there with you. Just I like know. You know, little stories. I feel like she's so cute. She's literally one of my best friends. Yes. And so clearly you have a great relationship with your family. That's yeah. amazing to see. Yeah. Family's everything. So when they came in and stuff like that, like it just must have been, whoa. I think honestly, like when they came in, it sounds really mad, but I was literally ready to walk out with them. As t- <laughs> <laughs> I was more Not than prepared. Hand down, walk in. No, I was more than prepared. Like if they had told me, because obviously I think was it oh, only dear. the finalists? Well, because of the how, how yeah, everything just before the finalists. Yeah. yeah, but it was one of them things where I can't lie. Like, I think in that moment I was literally ready. Like okay, right, love and accomplished it. Let's, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> let's get there. Let's get a drink. Are you holding your mom's <laughs> hand? <laughs> As in you're leaving now with them. Because I think at that oh, time, dead. I think in that moment, I was like, at that moment, I felt like I'd found what I wanted because yeah, I was still with her. I was really happy. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's cool. Like, screw it. Like you just have we to can be, just go. Yeah. yeah. Two words. Hurricane Faye. Oh, my <laughs> Faye-licious. <laughs> yeah. How, like, what were your... Res- Cause there was, I think there was a, a a little video of Faye shouting at Teddy, whatever, and you were sitting there, I think, with Millie, and you guys were just watching it. And it was just yeah, like... Yeah, because we were, in the ki- we were eating, Yeah, you were in the kitchen, and you went down we the counter. We were hungry, yeah. Was it you went down the yeah. counter? <laughs> like, that was... Do you know what? Guys, that was so funny, because it you really could have just walked around, but I said, you just went down. Like, it wasn't even... Pla- <laughs> do you know what? The thing is, it's really... That was crazy. It's hard, because it's like... I don't really like... I'm, I'm not really a get in a my... Um, like I'm not like inner, mm. you know, like an inner person. Like when someone's just inner, that like you're just not, like I want to know what's going on. Yeah, you're like you want to really be like there that. in the moment. Yeah, I'm not really like that. But I think also, one, it was so late. It had been such a long night. That night was long because I was off that like movie, the movie night. night. That was a very long night. There was a lot of conversations. I think we went into the kitchen to eat because we were so hungry, and then obviously like they were arguing. It, it, Faye did say like. I'm not in a space to have a conversation, you know? But then obviously, how do you want to have the conversation? Which is like, have your conversation. Like, in the moment, I don't know, everyone's very different. No, I said this to Toby last week as well. Like, once somebody says, like, oh, I don't want to speak to you right now, yeah. I'm heated, don't try to egg them on. Yeah. It doesn't justify what she said, but yeah. it does make sense. Like, is she saying, like, you know, like, leave me alone? Yeah. So I think so there I was that. like that. And then. On the other hand, it's like different people had spoken to like Faye, like, you know, calm it down. And also spoken to like Teddy and just like got in. Mm. Everyone's very different when it comes to like, really, I'm not the, I'm not going to walk up to your, your boyfriend or this and like, 
get in between it. I, it's just not really my style. So I was just kind of like, this is um, a lot. But then I did ask her, I asked her what upset her and she explained and I was like, I understood why she was upset, you know? So I was mm. like, I, I understand why you're upset. And I, and I understood why she was upset. And I remember, I think I'd said to people, I was like, I think people are looking at the reaction more than the reason. Right. That's, that was my perspective. Because the reaction was like on Yeah, her. I was like, everyone's focusing on the reaction, but not the reason. We need to get to a point where everyone's focusing on the reason. Right. That was that was just my POV. But um, yeah. No, it was a lot. Yeah, that's why I'm just asked Islanders who were obviously around that situation because was she, was it going on? I mean, I'll, hopefully I'll speak to her because I do want to speak to Faye about <laughs> 110%. Because one thing that Faye has said and Toby yeah. said, like, and I'll say it on my chest, like I did not like Faye on the show. Like I personally didn't yeah. like the way that she was. I liked at the beginning, 110%, yeah. but the way that happened and whatever. But yeah. that's just like, I would say that to her if she was sitting here. Yeah. Whereas she has expressed and Toby has expressed that, you know, They've been on the shows, previous Islanders, you know, have talked so much smack about them online whilst yeah. they were on the show. Then when they see them at talked events. Talked about Faye and Toby. Yeah, well, no, yeah, they both expressed that, you know, well, we have these Islanders, yeah. ex-Islanders from our season or previous seasons that don't like us on the show. Yeah. But then when I see them at events, they said, oh my God, we loved you on the show. We oh, loved this, yeah. that, and we loved it. And, uh, I think that was a great point that Faye initially made because that would just piss me off. Yeah. Like if I saw Faye, I'd be like, nice to see you, but I don't like in the show. Like I'm not going to oh, front. Yeah, no. Yeah, there's a lot and of that. I've had a lot of that. That must be annoying. Do you know what? Sometimes you don't even know until after. There's been like... Oh, like, those, that, that's when it's worse. Yeah. You, that's when it's you worse. You have no idea. Like you've, you've called, you know, you've had either a meet up here or a meet up there, which you either planned with like certain people and then other people get invited. You don't know until you arrive. Because you mm. know sometimes people bring like their friends. Oh, by the way, my friend's coming. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. Different situations. Then everyone's just vibing. You're cool. And I think when I first came out, I didn't go out of my way to find out what people said and all those kinds of things. Right. And I think it, it wasn't one of those things that my friends and family were immediately telling me because I think they were just so worried about just me dealing with more of the race stuff initially. So they weren't telling me like this specific person, that specific person, mm. they, I didn't really know. So I was kind of just like vibing, you know, pure vibes. And then when you, <laughs> when you learn after you're like, hang on, I was just with them like two hours ago. Oh, and they were like going in on you before. Yeah, yeah and then, you're, then you're like, oh, okay. Mm. But I think it's, it's a weird one because it's like, it's not even just like just ex-islanders or like people on your season i think it's just ev anyone but then i do think i think it's worse for the people on your season i think those ones are worse yeah because they're there with because you because it's like huns i'm not being funny like you actually know me yeah whereas others it's like okay they're just I think, viewers yeah i think viewers who were able to follow storylines and lash out frustration based purely off the storyline but not necessarily attach it to um characters I can, I, I'm like, I, fair enough, mm. you know, you, you looked at the narrative, you did that. But I think when people go and create their own stories and then it becomes them just attacking you and bashing you unprovoked, that's when I'm like, you did too much. And those, those of you who are like, that, I don't know business. <laughs> I really <laughs> don't. <laughs> like this. Yeah, I just, I just, I just really just mind mine. Just mind mine. No, no, no. I just, I mind mine. No, I, I can imagine, mind especially mind. people on your season. Yeah. That's, you know, it's just like a lot of like, just say it with your chest. Yeah. Say it with I your chest. I'm like, why are people so afraid is, of people? I don't understand. It's true. I think, do you know, I think some people just aren't confrontational. True. You know, I don't go out of my way to create it. However, I will always stand up for myself. So I, I can be confrontational if I need to be. If you need to be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, ex I'm exactly the same. Yeah. You don't need to be in a room and start, you know, on, be, on, be on 100. Yeah. But don't start on one, be none. Exactly. And like, if you want to put me in a position where you're disrespect to me, I will. Then now. I will. Like, I and then it, it will That's appear fine. that I'm confrontational, but I'm not. But yeah. I'm just letting you know. Literally. Okay, I'm the same. Exactly I'm the same. I yeah, <laughs> I'm the same. Some exactly just the same. Don't get that. They think that you're just on ten all the time. No. Like, no. Imagine living your life on smoke. Are you dumb? Shall I call nine nine nine? The ambulance? <laughs> like, are you stupid? It's, it's exhausting. Yeah. So I think like it's that. Like I always like stand up for myself and all that kind of stuff. But I think like sometimes I'm I'm very big on demoting people. Like, what do you mean by demoting? Demoting. I used to be very much like, right, cut it, cut it. Anyone? Oh, you did. You said what? Cut. Yep. Sometimes I wouldn't even ask people what they said. I just heard as it in scissors. Scissors. Like you were cut off. That WH Smith scissors is just gone. gone. Yeah. Maybe even Poundland. I'm dead. <laughs> gone. It's gone. You. I heard one thing. You're gone. Yeah, you take it personal. You find it. Yeah. yeah I'm the same. So I used to be like that, and then I was like, you know what? 
you can't live life cutting everybody off. Like sometimes, and then you bring your own, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just on the island. You can't. I'm Where's like, everyone? Exactly, and it's like sometimes it's like. It, it wasn't actually necessary of necessarily a, a cut off. So I think I learned how to put, you know, just change the dynamic, yeah. which means demoting people. Yeah. So we may have been BFFs before, but now it's like, oh, you did that one, two thing, but you're still a good person. I'm still, I trust you mm. in this aspect, just not there. You're now demoted. Acquaintance. Acquaintance, yeah. So I think I'm very big on demoting. I think it's so nice to have like, yeah. yeah. many acquaintances and just small close friends. Yeah, I'm like that. I think even from coming out, I'm like, there was a lot of different things that was happening. I think there was so much happening. A lot of people bust case and, you know, we're cool now. But huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> so it's like, that? no, loads of people shaded me when I came out. Loads of people. Like you. Loads. Loads. Loads of them were shading me. Some more straight than others, but oh, it is what it okay. is. I mean, it is what it is, man. It really is what it yeah. is. We keep it moving. We've kept it pushing. I, I've kept it pushing, kept it moving. I don't hold like grudges and stuff. So it's just like I said, demote. I thought the diversity on, on your season wasn't that, wasn't that great at all. Wasn't great or was? Wasn't. I don't think it was at all. No, Every other really. minute, it was just another blonde girl coming in. And like, cool, like what it is, what it is. If you're good for the show, you're good for the show. Yeah. But like, I just didn't see it as opposed to like season five. Yeah. With like Amber and stuff. There was, yeah. there was a lot of diversity on that. So I just didn't see that much this season. So hopefully they improve that. Yeah. Because I, hope, I think they just need more. Um, I think everyone and we, I think we I just had really, everyone was really like, I think a lot of people were like wanting um, Cupid to just hit the arrow at the right person, you know? There was a lot then, of that. And then you become dependent on that. Yeah, so right. no one was really open. I don't think, though, I think there could have been more open-minded people, for sure, when it came to, mm -hmm. like, dating. Toby said I the think same people thing. were very yeah. rigid. Um, yeah, so there's that. And I also think that a lot of people weren't confrontational anyway, so if things bothered them, would not necessarily have voiced it? The voting situation... The uh, what? There was a. I think you had to guys. You had to. You guys had to vote for the least compatible couples. Oh, that night. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that night. I think, said, a, I think it's. I think it's. Let me bullshit finish speaking, Aaron. Okay, excuse first cares. of all, it's not. First of all, don't tell me it's bullshit. Don't tell me it's a cop out. Don't tell me it's it excuse because neither it of those two things. It is. I'm explaining to you now. Don't ask me a question if you're not ready for my answer. It is though. Let's just start there. I'm gonna park you there so I can finish my sentence. Then you can decide what to say to me. And I was thinking, why is this happening two weeks before the end of the finale? Why didn't this happen at the beginning of the show? Like <laughs> the way everyone's popping off right now. <laughs> And yeah. initially, um, it was Faye and Jake. Faye and Jake are hilarious to me <laughs> because they, they, Faye just reminds me of like an older sister and Jake's a young brother. And every time Jake just gets pissed off that she's just screaming down his neck, I find it so funny. Yeah. But then when you know Teddy was obviously asking you and I believe Tyler initially first, yeah, about the voting situation, yeah, and whatever. And then Tyler tried to make like you know was that Tyler was it Teddy tried to make a little remark or you know to you two and uh, maybe you guys remember it was ages ago yeah you were sitting on the couch no i remember the argue i remember the um arguing of everyone yeah and then after that it was you and um aaron had a situation because oh, you yeah. guys initially tried to discuss it and then like <laughs> i've noticed that whenever you get when when you do get heated heated for some reason i don't know why i hear like a south african accent <laughs> Have you right. If I was saying something me, different man. over here, then you could come at me like that. But I said the same thing over there. Have you been told this before? I'm South. I'm Zambian, so that's okay. the Southern African in me. Yeah. Like you've actually pissed me off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it definitely like kind of just. I'm just thinking the way you st after you had the conversation and everything was clear cut and you spoke about stuff. Yeah. And then you're just talking with your mates. Yeah. You know, rehashing what's happened. The way you stood up when he tried to say something, I was laughing. I think I'm going to drag this man because this man was doing too too much too fast. Now, I don't think he's an evil, bad person. Yeah. But I do think that he was doing way too much. Yeah. Mad. Bro, why have you got so much to say there? But when it's down there, you can't say nothing. I spoke to you over there, Aaron. Bro, just leave I it then. I spoke to you. Like, are you all right? Got... That situation was like, why are you coming so fast? Slow your car down and get out. <laughs> why are you coming fast? Yeah, why are you coming so fast? Do you know what? I think... On that, oh gosh, <laughs> that night. My thing is, right, I have no, I had no problem like explaining because pe obviously people were like, oh, who voted me? Why? People, oh, I think Do everyone you know I mean? just wanted to know why. Yeah. Which, in my opinion, I'm like, there's no point. But if you want to know why, that's fine. I never ever shied away. I gave people my exact reasons and I explained them like, literally, this is, this is, this is my reason. And it's basically, I basically was saying like, this is why we voted because it was two of us who did it. But this mm -hmm. is, this, this was why clear cut explanation you're either gonna take it or you're not and that's just but it's this is this is why i didn't fire alarm oh yeah what is this like uh 
I, as soon as you said two o'clock, I looked over there. Not the fire alarm, cuz. Jeez, <laughs> what am I doing to this building? <laughs> Why? Why'd you stop? Why did it stop? <laughs> as soon as you said that. <laughs> uh, you can just keep it going, to be honest with you. It's just like a... It's not a real fire alarm, though, right? No, no, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I'm trying to run out of here like that right now. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fire alarm just basically says, somebody call 911. Cass's fire is <laughs> burning this whole building. Can you sing? Not really. <laughs> That's all a little I can there. hold a note, but I can't really sing. Not hold a note, as in what note can you hold? Can I can hold a note. Give yes, me a song. Yes. I can hold a note. Okay, so what can you sing? Say my name. Say okay. my name, say my name. When no one is around, around you, you, say, baby, I love, I love you. If you ain't running games, game, say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady, ain't calling me baby. baby. Why the sudden change? Ooh! A little bit, but I mean, I'm not I can't a singer. sing, so let me not try. I, no, I tried no. to just, you know. Yeah. You can do <laughs> karaoke, you know, but I'm not like a singer. Like, I'm not about to give Billie Eilish a run for her money. Do you know what I mean? Billie Eilish. I love her. I'm obsessed. Actually, really? You don't like her? Mm. Oh, I'm judging you heavy. I don't. I don't. I, <gasps> I don't dislike her. I should listen to her music. Oh, I don't my. know why. I just don't. <sighs> Is that who you're listening to right now? Yeah, she's definitely in my like top three. Is it? Yeah, she was my probably. She was in my Spotify. What's the Spotify Wrapped? Yeah. Yeah, I love her. Back to you and the yes. Ryan situation. Yes. Oh yeah. So I just felt like I know you're gonna speak, but let me just say, I what, as, as a viewer, yeah, I was like, as a grown man, what are you doing? That's just the way I saw yeah. it. Like, speak to Tyler. Yeah. And do your energy with that. Yeah. That was the part where I was a bit like... Yeah. I feel like... The the thing is, it's I look, looking back at that situation, I'm like, it's just it's just all like so funny. that Yeah, because happened. it's... Yeah. It was so... In my opinion, it was just all so unnecessary. But then also, I don't want to take away from people's annoyance because, you know, you're valid in feeling like mm. her. Because I know like Faye, we had a conversation because she was like, I felt hurt as my friend. And I just gave my reasons. I was like these were my reasons because you'd said you guys aren't compatible and you know the being from different places and well, the sure you guys had a conversation together but yeah we'd had a that's conversation. good how long she didn't pop off on you <laughs> no only on the the, the, the lads in the, and the, and no, the, no no we spoke but not like me and Faye didn't argue she just explained that she was hurt. her her frustration was from her being hurt she mm. was hurt mm. you know what i mean um, and we spoke about it and we're fine now. And obviously I do. And I kept saying, I was like, it's not that I don't like you guys together. I was purely just going off. And also it, what you're seeing. it was two of us voting. So we had to be, yeah, we had different reasons. So it was all of that. So there was that, but you know, adore the two of them and that's fine. And then with Aaron and Mary, I gave my reasons. Ty said his reasons. And then there's just, Aaron just wasn't. My thing was, it was like, there's a way to speak to people, right? In my opinion. And it, that just wasn't it. And I'm very oh. much like, you're not going to speak to me like that. Like, that was my thing. I, I think my thing was just like, okay, watch your tone and just say what you need to say, but like, say what you need to say. Yeah. And then it was just, just, just rudeness. Like, it was just, it was just really just unnecessary, in my opinion. It could have been just, didn't need to go that deep and that bad. But like, if see, it was just, mis I guess, I don't really want to say misplaced anger because that's that's his truth, mm. you know? But I just feel like I do need to be spoken to like that. And I think I'm very much like, if someone's speaking to me a certain way, I will say, don't talk to me like that, speak to me properly. And I will speak. That's the thing, because and when you speak to someone thing. like that, it just takes you somewhere else. Yeah. Now you don't piss me off. But like, I was fine when we had like the like, conversation. Sit down like, conversation. Sit down. When I moved, and I can't remember who I was, t I was telling what. You were with Millie, was, I think. Millie. And then... He was like, would you something like what? Yeah. And that's when I was like, hang on. Because I think my thing was everything I, we spoke over there and I said everything then. I'm saying the same mm. things here. I didn't come here to add like, I haven't brought a ball of fruit and started adding all these extra ingredients. I'm not making the story You're sound fancy. Chubby, yeah. I'm telling the exact same thing I said. So, you know, yeah. It just, it just, it just is what it is. Like, yeah, it's just one of those things. But I do think, why are you stepping to me? I, I was just kind of like, at the end of the day, like you're speaking to me, so I'm gonna stand up for myself. But then it's like, yeah, whatever. That that was the only weird thing for me is that the fact that he's coming to you directly mm. with that with that energy. And yeah. I'm just like, what is this? Yeah. That's not right at all. I guess we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> like it was just very weird. The reunion was <laughs> you know, 
I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm one of the people, yeah? Like, my face just doesn't hide things. Your face is showing everything. Not you doing left, right, left, right with your eyeballs. <laughs> it sounds really bad, but I think that's one of the things that I've genuinely, like, erased from my memory. <laughs> It's one of the probably one of the only parts of my experience that I've really just like that was shambles. honestly like erased. That like was there's, shambles. There's a lot of things that I've probably like experienced <laughs> the whole time, and that's one of them that I just don't really. It rate. was the worst thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my so entire life. I just didn't rate it. And I, 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 as a viewer, I thought it was pathetic. <laughs> I just thought that it just wasn't. People weren't tapped into properly. I just feel like, you know, everybody's sitting there on these weird chairs, like we're at some cafe. Mm. I don't know. It looked very weird. Yeah. And you guys went on the stage as finale. Yeah. And I thought that was even more weird. Yeah. I think you addressed it in a video. You spoke about it or you went yeah, like to afterwards. on a subtle yeah. manner. And I was just like, well. <laughs> you know what? Looking back. The reunion was in September. Um, no? October? I, I, don't wanna, wanna... I don't actually remember. It sounds really bad. Well, you've really erased bad, that memory, so you probably don't even know it. I, I honestly, when I say it, I erased that, it was, no, it's September because it was before Lib's birthday. Okay. It was before Lib's birthday. I was meant to go to that. Why didn't you go? I don't know. Liberty's parents invited me to that party. It was so I just, fun. I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't able to come last minute. Damn. Yeah. No, it was before her birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, that night. Um, <laughs> Not the sound what? man laughing. <laughs> No, okay, Angelina you know is, is laughing. No, I'm but... dead. That is so funny. Do you know? Okay, I think what it is with that is when we came. I remember coming out and just being like, by the time I'd left, I was like, okay, I was just ready to go home. And then obviously we had like the um, the finale, and that night in itself was just very icy because mm. the crowd was just. I'm pretty sure we walked out and they just went like no one cheered. It was just very. But we already knew the public didn't like us at that point when we came out because that was our perception. When you guys came stuff. forth. Not show. when we came for Han, I didn't even think I was going to be in that final. I don't know why I was there. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, <laughs> if I'm being like 100%, that is so stupid, man. <laughs> if I'm being 100% like honest and stuff, consider like based off how, like, <laughs> like don't get me wrong, things in the villa, like, you know, hard, they were stressful, but I was living my best life at the same time. I was enjoying myself, I was in the sun. And that was very apparent. Day. And yeah, so I apparent. just was very much like I'd been ready to go home for so long. So I was kind of just like, oh, I'm surprised I'm even smiling because every fire pit, I was always on edge. I never knew what my life was going to be. So it was kind of just like, yeah, whatever. And then when we had the, um, like with every, like all the voting stuff, it was always in the bottom. So I was just kind of just like, you know, this was going to happen. I like this, been, it's been fun, but I've met who I'm going to be with. That's at the time of in my mind. And so I'm like, yeah, going to be vibing. And then we ended up in the final and I'm like, Oh, okay, you know, cool. I guess we're here. I didn't, I didn't, do I think I was? I didn't think I was gonna be there. So I was kind of just there for the vibe. So I think even when we walked out and no one cheered, it was kind of just like, oh, right, it's icy, but it's fine. When you came at him, came out. It was the crowd wasn't cheering as much. No, they didn't cheer. Really? Mm -mm. It was just like. It was just kind of like, the, do you know what? There's things in life. You know how people say, I'll never forget. I'll, I'll always, um, I won't remember what you said, but I remember how you made me feel. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'll never forget how, we, like, what well, I can't speak for. Obviously, Tali can speak for that, but I remember how I felt in that moment. It was literally just like, ooh. But it was kind of like, well, let's just get this night over with. That's you know, so there's weird. people. It was the I first time seeing that. people. Um, wow. But other, aside from that, it wow. didn't bother me too much because... I loved my dress and I was just happy and I was with my friends. So for me, I was literally, so even when they said my name forth, I was literally just like, <laughs> okay. And, not, was, and no one was, were they booing? No, I think they cheered then. It was okay. when we walked out because all the couples like come out and they say mm. your names and stuff like that. Okay, good. Um, so we already had a perception of what outward was going to be like. So even like with going to like the reunion and stuff, it was kind of just like, it was, it was, it was like a bit of a weird one. It was a bit of a weird one. Like we weren't even going to be going on that night. Like mm -hmm. quite a few of us got told we might not be able to go. And it was just this whole situation, which was just such BS in my opinion, but whatever. And then they were like, yeah, actually you're coming. So I walked- What do you mean by like, like it you was were just, told that you were, that this is how it's going to be? Yeah. We, you felt like people were just chatting crap. No, so like we, a few of us weren't going to go to the reunion because we weren't going to attend because of like COVID and being around people with COVID, but then it's like the dates and stuff, like we all tested fine. And so then they were like, oh no, actually, you can actually come and all that stuff. So it was kind of just like, it was very rushed. So we was like, I was supposed to be in hair makeup at two, but I didn't actually get there until I think half an hour before we mm -hmm. went live. So I literally walked wow. on set with like my heels 
one of the producers was holding my ears, I was putting my earrings on, <laughs> walking onto like the countdown set. It was all a mess. Um, but, oh, oh well, as TV goes. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was just a weird, it was just a weird atmosphere. It's very odd, mm. very strange. Very apparent. But we didn't really pick up on things until like, the next day, really. What do you mean? Like, you, we didn't realize the stuff like the sofa, like not being asked up to the couch. We didn't pick up on that until afterwards when we were like, oh, actually, yeah, things were a bit different and stuff like that. And then, yeah. Made but I got told, to you just, you're going to be at your table. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to stay at my table. And then they tried to tell me to get off my table. I said, no. I got told I was staying at my table. And then they wouldn't tell me what it was for. And then I got walked out. Then I went round the back, which I wasn't meant to do. And then I was like, what am I going up for? They're like, as Toby's ex. I said, no, we're not doing that. Because obviously before I got briefed to come in, my brief was not that. So I was literally like, I'm just going to stay at my table. Um, but I think it's just a lot of miscommunication between different departments it must have over there as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, Why are you so coming on yeah. as Toby's ex? Are you dumb? I know. You're a big, big finalist. Like, they shouldn't ask you to do that. And then others were like, you're meant to go here. And then it was just like, no, no, no. So I think <clears> people were confused anyway. Big, but big finalists. Yeah. Like, there was a whole conversation. Mm -hmm. And I know so many people have asked you about this in every interview done about the what? wearing bonnets. Oh, uh, yeah. My bonnet. The, the bonnet brigade. The bonnet, not, not the bonnet brigade. Like, a lot of people were speaking about this online. Like, I saw all these conversations. Yeah. Do you have any idea that this was happening? No. And then when you came out, you were like, I wow. was in so much, I think when I came out, I was just in shock. I think I was a little bit disappointed Okay. with some com how some conversations had gone. Cause I just, in my head was like, are we gonna act like we don't wear bonnets to bed? Right, this is why I did. Like, I, like, well, this I, is me directing the black community, obviously. Right. But in the same breath, everyone does, not everyone wears a bonnet. Some people prefer to wear a headscarf. Some people prefer, to have nothing. Everyone's very different. I think the choice is very individual and that's fine. Mm. But I think it's like the discord around that, like let people have that choice. And I think some people didn't even know what it was, you know, but I didn't really some think- Some people call it a chef's hat. Yeah, I heard about that. Okay, as a chef hat, I'm like, blimey, blimey I should start- I'm not the girl cooking in bed. I should start, <laughs> no, honestly, I should literally start like a, a little- bonnet line. You should Night, start night time, um, yeah. what do you call it? That's not what I'm saying. School. Not cooking school in bed. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Snacks. In the beginning of this podcast, I said confidence. Yeah. And that's another example. And I feel like you've also inspired a lot of, you know, young black girls to be yeah. like, you know, I'm watching this show, main primetime show. I'm seeing a girl yeah. chilling, wearing bonnets. I can do it too in any position. I'm yeah, comfortable in this because some people may not feel comfortable yeah. around, you know. And I think that has helped a lot of people. Honestly. Like, I've also seen a lot of people... Wearing them. it now, or maybe you maybe now you're aware exactly or maybe in it any way. Happened before yeah. you didn't register it. No, I like I've had friends that would wear it or even yeah. like the house or whatever, but just I think I've just seen it now more, even on socials. Yeah, people are just more like, well, We're gonna because they're seeing somebody on a big show in the yeah. UK doing it, it just transcends platforms. Literally. That's something about your confidence was just thank you. It wasn't ever like my intention to, like, I didn't say, I'm gonna wear my bonnet and go on TV and tell right. everyone you can do it. It wasn't that, it was just like, Hans, like, it's either that or my ruined wigs, because I, I went on with wigs. I didn't go on with my natural hair, because who is doing those water challenges with the natural, not me. Someone else might be able to do it Bam. and have the time for the hair wash, but I didn't. So my hair stayed in cane rows, and my cane rows needed to stay as flat as possible, which meant I had to have a bonnet on my head, because I was not sleeping in a wig. I did it on the first night, and I regretted it so badly. Right. So badly, and I felt like, on that first night, I went to bed with just my wig on, and obviously I woke up the next morning and I remember saying to myself, like, <laughs> if I start going to bed with my wig on, yeah, if, let's say like, if I'm here for like a week or two and then I'm like, oh, my wig's starting to look rough. I need to switch it out to my bonnet. Everyone's going to be like, so what's that? And then I'm going to, now I'm now going to think, is this awkward? Mm. And then I thought maybe I'm going to become awkward. Mm. And then my hair's going to look bad the whole time. So I was like, no, no. Day two, I said, right, so <laughs> this, this is, is the bonnet, do. guys. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we're just gonna do but i didn't really think of like what the conversation would be really around the outside because also it's like we walk to bed and then in the morning the only thing obviously is as soon as you wake up in the morning you go straight to have like the chats in the roof terrace so there's that there's not that getting ready time before you chat so probably i think that's probably why people saw it a lot more because mm. if let's say when we were walking to the terrace i'd taken it off and then laid my wig quickly but then it was like there was no point in doing that because then we'd then shower afterwards. It was just long. 
it was long. I did what was felt the most convenient for me. And that's what, and, and that I wasn't uncomfortable yeah. doing it. Yeah. It's just like everyone else. But then I guess the conversation from different people I've spoken to is all around dating and going to bed with a bonnet on and stuff. Yeah, all of this I saw and online. Like I mean, it's not a conversation for me, so I didn't say one yeah. word. I, was <laughs> I think there's no need for me to put my input. But I just thought it was very interesting. Some people are like, you know, I wouldn't wear that to bed. I'm yeah. Dating. Somebody got a man, whatever. I feel like some of it is projection as well. From yeah. What you do. And everyone's, everything's, I guess, subjective to an extent. But yeah. I do think what you're doing with Transcends Platform has helped people more yeah. than the negativity that might have come from it or the critique. Yeah, thank you. And of course, I did want to talk about Twitter trolls. Or oh, Twitter yeah. in general. Yeah. Like, it is a lot to deal with post the show. Yeah. I don't know how... Are you onto it now? You've left it. Nah. Do you know what? It that's, was, that's stale fit. It's not even just that. It was my... I wasn't on... I was never... Twitter's never been my app. Mm. Purely for the fact that I'm just like... I always used to say... All my friends say they're like, Twitter's not for the faint-hearted. I am faint-hearted. I am the weak-hearted. I, people like I, am, the, I am the soft-hearted that Twitter is not for. That is me. I think I, I, yeah. No, I hate I you. cannot. I, I, I'm too sensitive for that. But I think when I came out, I was like, oh, you know, let me try. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> so nice. And they are lovely. Like, I think everyone else is lovely. But I think, you know, when it's when it's time for you to, to have your moment, you will have your moment too. But for me, it was just too much. And I was just like, you know what? I just don't need this. So I'm just going to go. <laughs> and that's just what it was for me. <laughs> it was a true joke. It's like, a yeah, lot I'm to do with. Like trolls, the whole thing. Now, I think as the years progress with the show, from yeah. season five onwards especially, coming out the show, do you think that everything just feels like a rat race? Oh, like, like you to have like to perform get everything. and get everything and look like you're just doing everything. And if you yeah. feel like you're not, it gets to you and you feel yeah. down. And I think it's different things. I think it depends on why you went on the show. Right. I think if you went on the show because you were like, this is a way out, because it can be a way out, 100%. I'm never going to knock that. Um, as much as I was saying, like, I did go on wanting because i was like i'm probably not gonna be there two weeks i knew the reality is i may be there on there 10 days or whatever i had at the time 60k followers so for me i was like even if this grows to 80 or 100 i'm good because i can still i'm doing my content i'm still doing me but i'm also just going to carry on living how i was living before mm -hmm. it's just going to be with more followers do you know what i mean but i think if the goal is genuinely to be like I want to work with like this specific brand or I want to get this much of an audience so I can in convert that audience into then my business, whatever business plan you have. It can get, because it's, it's doable, but I think it can also, it might not work out that way. And mm. I think if it doesn't work out that way, you then have that extra pressure. Also, like if you're doing like taking it from more, taking the audience to then invest in different business, they're here for your dating life the ones you've picked up, but the majority of them. So you're going to lose more and more as it gets down to what them care about you personally. It just depends. And also, it's just one of those things where it's like, there is a lot of pressure to, you have a timeline because the new season is coming out, like, when is it coming out? In like a few in months June. now. Yeah. No, as in April, months, May. Like, what month are we in now? It's end of March. And May. Like, These are April some of the producers May. right now. They're some of the producers right now. As in, in two months and a half, Love Island is back. Yeah. So it's like, okay, Jesus on to the Christ. next. And that's just that's just how it goes. Yeah. So Recyclable you, yeah, to an extent. Like, yeah. And I think in this industry, everyone's disposable, in my opinion. Yeah. And I think a lot of people don't come to the reality of that. Nope. So, yeah. you got to have something maybe to, you know, to keep it for a while going. Yeah. But it's very difficult. Yeah. I think you can only perform for so long. Hmm. It just depends what you want. Because you were doing this before. Yeah. And then I realized you were following me prior to Yeah. So I knew of you because my ex used to watch you reviewing the last seasons of Love Island. Not like the my, ex. My ex, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ew, why are we shouting him out? But yeah. <laughs> Not Tyler. Before they come and tell me that I said ill to him. Not Tyler, okay? I have other exes. <laughs> no, because on TikTok, yeah? They really think I only have like one ex. <laughs> that video you did about regret or something like that. And people Do thought you know it was what? Matthew. The thing is, in that moment, like I was with one of my mates who we were literally just like i was at hers i was like yeah this is funny i i wasn't i promise you yeah even in my mind i didn't i was like oh we thought tyler i didn't think that i didn't <laughs> i didn't think and then i started seeing comments i said right filter words boom don't comment their names on my tiktok they're lovely boys i wish them well that's it you had it <laughs> honestly don't. i'm literally just like do not you can't you can't like that's the ugh. thing like even with a rat race is one thing but also it's like you're not in this relationship box, whether yeah. it's there or not. You're constantly associated, <laughs> or these names are flying around. Yeah. It's just like, leave me alone. Yeah, it's like, it's, there, it's cool. Like, it's cool. I think now it's fine. 
Um, but yeah, you just have to. I think you. I think you can. I think you. Sh you can use the time you have when you've come out. Hmm. I think one thing I didn't do was that because for me, I was so there was so much going on mentally that I, I honestly, I physically couldn't even like really do what I wanted to do because I just wasn't in that space to create. And I think if you're creative and you want to invest in your craft and you're not really in that right space, it translates. And I right. think that's what happened for me. And it's a big shame because I do look and I'm like 100% um, lost out on gaining certain, what's the word? getting my following to certain points because there's certain strategies you can follow you know you can follow the narratives and you can create the clickbait so you can do that and right you know, if you're going on the show guys do it you know <laughs> do it i didn't do it but you should do it yeah but i also think it doesn't make me sit here and think oh because i didn't do that my career is dead or my it's over that's for the me. thing that's... and the reason i don't think that is because i have enough confidence in my skill set to know that i'm still gonna be okay yes you are baby yes yeah you need to have that confidence confidence and you need to have that self-belief and i guess also worth work ethic you know so yeah that's just what I think. You grew up in Essex? Yeah. No, I grew up in Zambia. I was born in oh, Zambia. Wow. Then I Amazing. moved to Essex. And what time, what yeah. age did you move to Essex? I moved at like 14. Wow. Yeah. So that's actually a pretty interesting age to move from a country yeah. to Essex. I, I, yeah. I, I presume a predominantly white area you moved to yeah. Essex as well. Yeah. Was that... How the change. The change. Um, do you know what the thing is? So I grew up in Zambia, but even in Zambia itself, I moved a lot. Like I moved because um, my dad's job. So I was constantly moving. Okay. So I feel like I'm always being forced into new, um, having to adapt. That's all, all my life is adapt and survive mm. every single time. Yeah. But then like, you know, vibes along the way. Yes. That's literally what it is. Adapt, adapt, adapt. Adapt, adapt, adapt. So or I think like, you know, I you don't really... Or like, you co-switch or the way you speak and everything. I think we're just used to doing It's that. just like, go, 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 go. Um, so I think even like the, like the school I went to in Zambia was a British school. So we followed the British syllabus. So when I moved across, it wasn't weird school-wise because okay. okay. the syllabus was the same. Obviously, it was predominantly white. So I remember being like, there's no black people here. <laughs> mm. You know, where are they? Like, But then in the same breath, it didn't necessarily, like, it didn't bother me. It didn't like bother me, but it was very different. It was just a shift. Do you know what I mean? So it was just a That's shift. So weird, but it wasn't like an issue. It was just it's very funny like, to me when, like, Different. I know brown or black people that say that they went to schools or institutions or anywhere that is probably white because my institution was probably black. Yeah. It was 97% black. Yeah. It was literally just a small group of white boys, That's very insane. small group of brown boys. Everyone was either Nigerian or Ghanaian yeah. or, you know, um, from the Caribbean. It yeah. was so interesting. It's nuts. I think because the first 14 years of my life, I was around predominantly black people and then moved across. So it's that like, shift. It's, a, just a, it's like a weird shift, but then it wasn't like... It was like negative. I wasn't like, oh, yeah. what's going on? It wasn't like that. It was just like, oh, this is like life can be different for different people. And then I went to uni and I was like, oh, my goodness. There was just and I was in Birmingham and I was like, wow, it was yeah. so different. Birmingham must have been insanely yeah. different. It was to Essex. crazy. Like, but I loved it. And I think just I've just learned about different people's cultures all my life anyway. So if I've always just kind of just been like, yeah, just it's cool. Would you do the show again? You know what? I would, I would probably not go on there for love. I would go on there and secure my bag. And I feel like you smart. secured your bag. Ah, uh, no, I did secure my bag. I'm 100%. good. But I feel like I would have had a different. I'm joking. I would have just, I would have done exactly <laughs> the same thing. I would have done it the same way. I think you go to the gym. No, I don't. Because I feel like you have biceps. Everyone <laughs> says that. They're like, your arms are so tight. Like, I used to swim when I was young and it's That's what it is. Me. But I feel like you just have... <laughs> yeah, don't say like this. Like, imagine just... <laughs> <laughs> Come, imagine me in a fight. <laughs> I'd lose. No, um, I'd do it again. But yeah, I'd do it again. I think... I would just do exactly the same thing. How long do we have? Four minutes. Oh my <laughs> days. Jesus, time has flown. I was thinking we had like 20 minutes left. Time oh goes by quickly day. when you're having a good time. Yes, we are, guys. Time Kaz, goes can by we? quickly when you're having yes, fun. Yes, we can, baby. <laughs> Kaz, can we? Yes, we can, baby. <laughs> We're having screaming that. I know you're probably thinking, when is this boy going to shut his stupid mouth? No, no. I it? like it. I think it's cool because I've never had like um, my, like I've never done any. I just, Kaz. What's your name? Kaz. Kazana. Kazana is your full name. Yeah. I love Kazana. that name Thank though. You. I love Kazana. Yeah. But it's spelt with an N. With an N. So the N is silent. N is I remember silent. Before going on, they were like, what are you going to go by? And I was like, oh, let's just do Cas because my Instagram's Cas, can we? 
if if not, I would have actually changed my Instagram to Kazana Cam with Bin Kazana. Because then, who's Kazana? You know, yeah. me! But so if I fine. say Kaz Cam we? Yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs> Kaz Cam we? Yes, yes, we, we can, can baby! <laughs> Oh my days. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for I having me. I appreciate it. An hour and a half has flown by. I know, because I'm just such great company. Like, 110%. I hate this all the time. Time has flown. <laughs> Thank you for gracing me with your presence. Yeah. But you are a Love Island legend to me. Oh, You're thank you. gorgeous. Cheers. I feel like you had a great time on the show. <laughs> I feel like you respected yourself from day one. Yeah. Up until the last day that you left that show. Yeah. And the finale, I think, even post that, you've dealt with everything very gracefully. Thank you. And I think that you're, you know, just... You did extremely well. Thank you so like, much. Like you should be very proud of yourself. Cheers. Your collection of clothes that was yeah. that was really collecting. <laughs> that was actually mad. That was beautiful. Um, before we wrap this up, yes. What is next for you? Okay, so oh, just different stuff. I don't even know. I never know how to again answer this question. rat race. I never you know, know I mean? how to answer this question. So you're gonna have to. You have to list five big things. Yeah, like I always enough. no, but me being honest, I'm like I never really know what to say. I'm like, do I go with this? I want to bring my own brand out because I think it's just important to have stuff that's just for you, and that's just for you. So it's that. Um, well, we'll support you. Oh, you know, thank you. Have our support Thanks, on guys. My channel. We all support you on my channel. No, I genuinely like appreciate it. I appreciate it. Guys. People like DM me, but like, you need to go talk to Marad. Oh, my days. When I had Brett on, I was like, guys, 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 I'm thinking, okay, if this is what you want, then I'm trying to get. Watch, I'll be here and then you all go quiet. I'm dead. Just, I'm screaming. <laughs> Which camera looks directly at the audience? Uh, Your one there. If you guys go quiet on me being here, yeah? Actually, I'm not even going to do anything. I'll just be really offended. <laughs> 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 no, you're on a bicep. <laughs> Honestly. No, you do have good them. biceps though. Yeah, do I didn't you know what? Like this till now. Yeah, no, so basically I used to swim really well. Um, and I used to swim competitively, but then I had to stop. Okay. So that's they look, they look good though. Yeah. Anyways, so. Kaz on the show, legend. Yeah. Thank you so much. Daily and consistent, guys. <laughs> the Murad Morali podcast. And I will catch you guys soon and we'll get more people. I want Faye on the show. Do you understand? And I want Clay on the show. Mwah. Thank Bye you. guys! Oh my days! Sorry, because it kept saying uh, the time, but not the. Not, it didn't show us that. Oh, oh like the counting down. Yeah, it was showing you were, like, us the clock. Like mentally counting down four minutes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I saw thirties. I was mentally counting down thirty you're like, minutes. You're sitting and you're like, you're like, oh, it's rushed. Yeah, I was mentally counting down thirty minutes.